So I began the project by searching for and then taking apart C drives so I could extract the inner mechanism to use it for the X, Y and Z axes on my 3D printer. The first C drive I got was a laptop C drive and I found out those don't work because they have DC motors. Then after I got a real computer C drive then I was able to test that it worked with my Arduino and a motor driver. The next week I found another computer and was able to extract a CD drive, an SD card reader and a PSU, so that was pretty good. I took apart the CD drive and was able to use it for the Y axis of my 3D printer. I did the same thing for yet another CD drive and this would later become the Z axis. In week 3 I started soldering wires to the CD drives. This was the first time I was able to solder and I wasn't very good at it but you can see it did actually work. Then I connected it to um, the motor driver again and was able to control two different steppers. In week 4, I laser cut a frame that I found on the Curiosity 3D website and then went through the extensive task of making my own program to be able to draw. At the start it didn't work very well, well it worked terribly but um, that was because there were multiple errors in the programming. However, I decided that if I could make and give it extra power, then that might solve the problem. So I built my own um, power supply by taking apart a different computer one and hacking it so it would work. You can see, after I fixed all the errors, I was able to make a really amazing plotter. And, well, it worked really well. I made the letters 3D. I was really proud of that. By week seven, um, one of my CD drives broke, and so I had to go to the tip again to get another computer, extract it, and replace the broken C drive. I bought myself some more electronic parts, including what's called a ramps board, which was really useful because it allowed me to control three CD drives instead of just one. In week eight, I started making a metal frame. This was necessary because the plastic one couldn't be reproduced by someone without a laser printer. I then mounted the C drives and resoldered some of the wires. As you can see, it worked. That was pretty good. By week nine, I started the huge task of attaching the X axis to the Z axis. I again used the hammer and a screwdriver to make the holes. Using the motherboard mounts, I was able to mount um, the Z axis to the Y axis. I then turned on the 3D printer and amazingly all three axes moved simultaneously. This was probably the highlight of the project. In week 10, I tried hacking a 3D printing pen to see if I could use it as a hot end. It worked up to a point, but it didn't have the quality I wanted, which I could only get from a real hot end. In week 11, I started making a print bed. To do this, I cut two plastic squares out of the computer frame, and then using the same hammer and screwdriver method, made eight different holes, which I then put some screws in. This method with the plastic was very similar to how I was able to mount the Z axis. In week 12, after I accidentally reversed the polarity of the power supply and burnt all my electronics, I decided to make a power adapter so there was only one correct way of fitting it. To do this, I hacked the power cable with a 3D printing pen and connected it to the cable of my own PSU. It worked really well and was a good soldering project. In week 13, I decided I would make a homemade extruder because the regular extruders you get are really expensive and I thought this would be a good way of lowering the overall cost of the 3D printer. I needed a really powerful motor to use for this extruder, so I decided to take apart a laser printer which I found in the tip. I removed 189 screws over 4 hours trying to take apart that laser printer, and after some construction with Lego and more soldering, I was able to control the extruder. In week 14, I decided to make a spool holder. To do this, I took two thick dowels and then cut them and tried to join them together with some bolts. In week 15, I started making the hot end mount. Originally, I was making it out of plastic, but after the hot end screws melted through the plastic, I decided to make one from metal. So I took a CD drive case and then cut out a rectangle, which I used as the hot end mount. It fitted well onto the CD drive and I was able to use it. Before attaching a hot end to the mount, I tried to draw something with my 3D printer again. This time, it was much better at drawing because it had a Z-axis, which meant it could lift the pen off the page, and also it was using a much more sophisticated program. The first character I decided to draw was Homer from The Simpsons. This came out really well. The next character was Sonic. It's quite obvious who the character is, and I think this means it's a success. The plotter could 
potentially be better than the 3D printer. In week 17, after some problems with hot ends not working, I finally got a much more advanced hot end and attached it to the um, 3D printer. I was able to extrude pretty well and I printed about four layers. This was a great achievement because before it couldn't print even one layer. The 3D printer was finally complete. I just had to do the finishing touches so it would be ready for the final exhibition where I would demonstrate. Unfortunately, just two days before the day of the exhibition, I short circuited the Ramex board and burnt all the stepper drivers. Then I spent the next two days frantically searching for some kind of shop which could deliver the stepper drivers that I needed in such a short time frame. Fortunately, by paying a lot of money for express delivery, I was able to get the stepper drivers delivered the day of the exhibition and just hours before the show, I had to fix the 3D printer. The exhibition day went incredibly well and I managed to print more layers than I had ever before and even by the end of the day, printing a full complete model. Overall, I feel the 3D printer was successful and now that it's summer, I'll be making more projects like this. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see them.